Hi, in this video we're going to add a duty cycle measurement feature to our Arduino Excel based oscilloscope. Uh, that means we're going to be using an Arduino Uno for the measurement. I'm going to use an Arduino Mega just to generate some different square waves with different duty cycles and then we'll just be able to measure those. So if you hang around, I'll walk you through how we add this feature to the spreadsheet. We'll start with the two channel oscilloscope spreadsheet that we built previously and I'm going to feed it through some information that's a 50% duty cycle square wave just so we've got something easy to work with while we put the feature in. We'll do it for channel 2 first. And I'm going to make some room to fit that measurement in. To get an accurate duty cycle measurement, we need to measure only full cycles. So we need to find this starting point and this ending point. In this scenario here, we have three full cycles. Conveniently, we have this last column from when we were uh, measuring the period. And it shows the time each time we rose through the threshold, which is the start of each cycle. So we could say that the starting point is here where uh, the number becomes above zero. And the ending point is going to be where that number is just passing to become the, the maximum value that we got in the time, which is just here. So we can use a formula for that. Where it's just basically saying if last is greater than zero, then we begin our measurement. And if last is less than the maximum value of last, then we finish our measurement at this point. Next, we'll add a column that counts the number of entries that are above the threshold. And we can use a formula for that. And then what we're going to do is identify how many the how many of these are within our measurement range. and how many are above the threshold. And then our duty cycle is simply the number that are above the threshold over the number that are, are actually in the measured set and it's a percentage. Then we do the same thing for uh, channel 1 as well. And here we can see it when I've added those extra columns. So here's the formula for the above threshold and here is the formula for the uh, calculating which items to include and then over here we have the uh, duty cycle calculation going through these items here let's give it a test so we'll hook up channel one percent duty cycle and then we could instead hook up channel 2 I had that on the 90% 90 duty cycle pin and if we pull that over and do 1 and 2 at the same time and there we go we can measure duty cycle with our Arduino Thanks for watching.